Hello viewers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to my channel, Learn English with Hamid. In today's video, we do vocabulary, as vocabulary is very important in language. I'm going to discuss with you 10 new words, 10 new words new to the English language. Uh, these new words have recently been added to the English language and they're a new addition. Let's get started. Okay, the first term is uh, binge watch or binge watching. What does binge watch mean? Binge watch mean um, the practice of watching several episodes of a TV show on one occasion, usually by means of DVDs or digital streaming. For example, we binge watched an entire series of Breaking Bad on Sunday. And you may have noticed that uh, uh, binge watching, the practice of binge watching, has become popular in recent years. Uh, more and more people are watching TV shows these days now, as uh, compared to what they did in the past. Okay, the next term is uh, good. Yes, good is a new addition, a new word um, being borrowed by the English language. Uh, good is a type of raw dark brown, raw, raw dark brown sugar that is made into blocks, and sugar is uh, sorry. Good is very popular in Pakistan. In Pakistan, sugar can juice is used to make good. Uh, third is uh, between jobs. Yes, the third expression is between jobs, and it is kind of a euphemistic expression. The euphemistic expression in it is a kind of a soft expression and this expression is employed uh, sorry this expression is used to refer to the state of being jobless uh, for a short time but you don't use the word uh, unemployed or jobless you use the term between jobs and it means to be unemployed but for a short time so it's a soft expression so he or she is between jobs for example at the moment the next term has to do with technology, digital disruption. Yes, digital disruption is significant change to an industry or market due to innovation. Innovation means new ideas or methods in technology. So if we know every um, industry or sector is getting digitized more and more. And um, changes are happening in all fields and uh, these changes uh, are what we refer to as a digital disruption and no field is uh, immune to that no industry today is immune to digital technology digital disruption sorry every field is <coughs> getting digitized including the education sector like uh, now that I'm recording this video is thanks to the digital disruption thanks to innovations in technology for example, this kind of video was not possible, let's say, 20 or 30 years ago, like recording a video, uploading it to YouTube and um, learning, learners learning from them. Right. The next expression, again, has to do with technology, social media. FOMO. FOMO means fear of missing out. And FOMO is a feeling of worry that an interesting or exciting event is happening somewhere else and you are not part of that. Usually when you may have noticed that uh, when you log on to your Facebook account, for example, and you have lots and lots of friends from all parts of the world and uh, some, you see that somebody is enjoying a party, somebody is celebrating some event and somebody is going abroad and everybody's enjoying except you you get that feeling and that feeling is uh, <clears throat> what we call fear of FOMO yes fear of missing out so you think everybody is having fun except me and this is what we call FOMO now so we all live internet lives and we see everybody else is having more fun than us and we experience anxiety and FOMO right the next term is inshallah yes inshallah is a new addition an Islamic expression meaning if Allah wills it, if Allah wants it. And it is used to say that you hope something will happen, something good, hopefully good will happen. So I know times are tough, but we will get through this together, inshallah. 
you know you may be experiencing FOMO thanks to social media but don't worry we'll get through this uh, we'll get through this inshallah uh, next term the next term is also an acronym uh, goat not the animal goat with four legs uh, goat stands for greatest of all time and it's always capitalized so goat stands for uh, a person it refers to a person who is uh, very uh, who is the best in their field who is the pe best in his or her field especially sport so there is no doubt that he's the goat but somebody's gonna beat him one day so he shouldn't be proud or arrogant Covidiot yes the next term is Covidiot Covidiot is a person who enjoys uh, sorry who annoys another person by refusing to obey the social distancing rules and these rules are designed to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So, you may have seen many COVID idiots during the pandemic. The example sentence is, during the pandemic, I saw numerous COVID idiots. I hope you're not a COVID idiot. Okay, next term has also to do with technology. Sorry, with the pandemic, the recent pandemic, the COVID-19. <laughs> Uh, smiles uh, when you are wearing a mask wearing a mask how do we know how does the other person know you're smiling well you smell with your eyes and this is what smiles is all about smile seems to be a compound word a word blend which stands for smile and eyes so it's to smile with your eyes when we had to wear masks during the pandemic many of us had to learn to smile right and the next term is internet of things again technologies technology seems to be the main driver when it comes to these new terms yes technology is giving birth to many new and new terms these days and uh, internet of things is an example one such example so internet of things means objects with computing devices in them that are able to connect to each other and exchange data using the internet like these devices that these day-to-day -day devices home appliances that we use on everyday basis our cars our phones uh, yes our cars are our, our, our home appliances like fridges for example maybe AC maybe fans they're getting smarter and smarter day by day and we're getting dumber day by day <laughs> So they use the internet and they are connect, getting connected to each other and they communicate with each other. So very soon, for example, we may have uh, fridges in our homes <clears throat> telling us that the fridge has run out of milk and we should order more milk, for example. <coughs> Sorry. So we may, for example, have uh, the internet of things, for example, involve smart bins. Yeah smart dustbins and these bins will signal when they need to be emptied so these, these bins will tell us that they should they're full and they need to be emptied and this is what the internet of things is all about and that's it for today 10 terms uh, new to the English language part one we'll do part two soon um, I hope you like this video Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video more and more. Thank you.